coming at you live from outside of space and time. I'm Naeem. Welcome to the feedback loop. Just wanted to make a little update on some of the remote viewing data that was collected over the last month. Some of the stuff over at crypto viewing, some of the world events, stuff like that. I'm going to be working on a presentation shortly about faces, drawing faces and remote viewing, people and faces. Uh, I already made one presentation called Remote Viewing, A Step Towards Realism. Uh, I'll put the link to that in the description below. And that talks about uh, developing your ability to see properly through learning how to draw, right? Because we're all pretty um, competent. We can move our hands. You know, holding a pencil and moving it around is not hard. The hard part is moving it to recreate the thing that you see externally. That's the hard part. So really learning how to draw is more about learning how to see properly and how to translate the signal that you get visually into a kinesthetic signal that your hand can use to you know, move on the paper. So a couple years back, I took, a, I took a drawing course called Drawing on the Right Side of the Brain by Betty Edwards. Um, you can find the book online. You know, I advise, you know, I recommend that uh, if you want to improve this aspect of your of your craft, definitely check out this uh, this course. I'll show my some of my you know the improvement that that I got after a very short time. A lot of people do this course over a weekend or a few days, and they see drastic improvements to their drawing. So I'll show my self portrait that I drew before. Uh, and the one that I drew after the course. This is, you know, a couple years back, mind you, uh, 2016 or 15 or something like that. And my drawing has gotten, you know, a lot better, even better since. But these kind of basic, uh, foundational things to look for when you're drawing, these kind of steps or the methodology to drawing, is what helps uh, the drawings come out realistic. Uh, remote viewing is similar. You know, we have these structures in place to help collect the data and kind of weave it together in a way so that it actually makes sense or the analyst can make sense of it. So I typed up a little document uh, summarizing some of the, I guess, the highlight uh, data points that you know I felt like mentioning uh, in a little document just to have it down in words and written on paper uh, before the month started, kind of like a summary. So I'll, I'll just read it out here. It goes like this. The following predictions were recorded and timestamped in June 2022. Due to the experimental nature of remote viewing future events, accuracy may deviate from standard. The information contained herein is experimental and should not be used to cause alarm or calls to action. I, as the author, take no responsibility for any actions taken as a result. This is an experiment in perception. The events described below should be reported widely on mainstream media outlets to be considered a hit. These news reports should occur during the month of July 2022, although there are events that may come to pass after the 30-day window. I will primarily be observing the month of July 2022 for feedback events, but will take into consideration the possibility of events occurring as far out as 90 days, as advised by my mentor, Dick Algar. So let's talk some uh, world events, you know, looking into the future, uh, trying to perceive news events of the upcoming month precognition through remote viewing uh, you know last month I shared the world record <laughs> fish catch uh, that was a funny little story there um, over at crypto viewing you know this month once again we published our data looking forward to July 2022 and what we perceived to be you know uh, major news events that would be recorded uh, had a really interesting one already come to pass uh, I'll put a video clip here of uh, the debrief. You know, this was recorded in June. Uh, here's me talking with uh, Dennis Snappy, the second over at Crypto Viewing, about one of my perceptions for July 2022. Okay. If this doesn't happen, if nothing happens to Denzel Washington, I'll do like 10 push ups for even putting this out into the ether because I don't want to, okay. you know. No, cast he's anything like this out like that, but no, I get like Denzel Washington news, like worried, and I get I even got like paralyzed or injured. Oh. So, you know, let's just hope that was a figment of that, my imagination. Yeah, that'd be devastating. So, that was an interesting information grab I had there. You know, 
the remote viewing style that I use starts in a awake mind state. You're awake and aware in beta. And as you go through these probes, you go through this structure and this process, you're slowly, uh, your brainwave states are slowly changing. It goes down into an alpha state. And then at the very end, we, we go down and we prime and we go to a theta state. So this is more like an experiential or ERV state where you're kind of like lying down, uh, almost on the verge of falling asleep. So, you know, I get into this state when I do my world events sometimes. So I was laying back, you know, eyes closed, kind of catching some of that hypnagogic, that hypnagogic state in between awake and sleep. And I heard uh, a female newscaster, like, you know how those female newscasters sound. I heard, I heard one of those voices say, eh, Denzel Washington. And so I kind of like woke up out of my, out of the, out of the state. It kind of, that kind of brought me up out of it. And I sketched it down, drew him and uh, started probing. And I got the sense that he's going to be hurt or injured, something, something to do with his health. I even got, I even got the word like paralyzed. Um, so, you know, that was a very specific, uh, piece of data there, you know, calling someone out by name uh, and saying that they're going to be, they're going to have a, uh, a news story the following month. Uh, I even jokingly said there, you know, I'll do a bunch of push-ups if nothing happens. Uh, well, looks like I won't have to do the push-ups. This story just broke the other day. Uh, Denzel Washington uh, has the plug. Has the um, didn't show up to receive some kind of award from the president. Um, I, nothing about paralyzed, but uh, definitely a health, you know, health-related story with Denzel there. He's not, probably not feeling the best. He couldn't uh, come out to receive that. So, see, those are the kind of stories that it's like, you know, trying to guess those. Good luck. Um, I had another one. Uh, you know, I, I had a very clear visual of a F1 car getting into a crash. Uh, involved in some kind of accident and uh, the opening race of the uh, F1 I think it was the British Grand Prix um, this month there was a, a, a pretty scary crash there luckily the uh, the driver survived that's by the barriers and then it goes over the tire barrier and into the catch fencing so he was actually Martin upside down as you can see in the roll hoop and the halo very much doing its job before the car digs in and you do not ever want to see accidents like that yeah i think george was pulling to the left so that was another interesting story that uh, came to pass you know some of these are just so bizarre and weird it's like you couldn't make these up even if you wanted to uh last month uh edward reardon had a story about uh, glass you know glass panes falling from a, a large building where did that come from? And sure enough, uh, there was a big story the next month about, uh, you, know, be, you know, look out, <laughs> glass panes fall from the skyscraper. Uh, so that was the interesting one. Daz Smith uh, predicted uh, Boris Johnson's uh, quitting or stepping down. Uh, that was a very specific and clear kind of uh, data point of prediction there. Dick Algar, also a few months back, had had a had some data about Boris Johnson uh, in some turmoil. So, like I, like I was saying, um, sometimes these stories happen more than a month after. Uh, I was having some audio issues there, uh, filming outside. So, you know, I, I'm gonna finish up the video uh, here. Uh, back to some of the world events stuff that I was talking about. Um, you know, I perceived in my world events, uh, I saw a, a tennis story and I don't, you know, I don't follow tennis, but, you know, I saw a man with a backwards white cap and a short sleeve t-shirt and I got data about championships and trophies and stuff like that. Uh, Wimbledon ended up, you know, there's Wimbledon tournament in July and the finals, uh, was Djokovic versus, uh, another gentleman. I don't want to butcher his name, Karagos. I think it's Karagos. Um, but I'll put his picture up here and I'll put my drawings up so you can see it was a pretty good match there uh, for for that story. 
um, he ended up losing. Dragovic won. You know, looking at my data, I kind of assumed that uh, the person I drew would be the winner, but um, he was actually the person who lost. Hopefully this was interesting. Uh, thanks for watching. Check out our website, patreon.com slash crypto viewing. If you want to check out some of the, you know, forecasting and stuff like that. But uh, if you want to learn about re remote viewing and see some of my work and some of my, uh, some, some targets, maybe you want to practice remote viewing, check out my website, thefeedbackloop.info. Uh, thanks for watching. One love y'all.